Audacity 3.4.1 has been released as you see I have already installed it. Audacity 3.4.1 is quite an important release as Audacity 3.4.0 introduced some bugs that were stopping people from upgrading. I made some videos on my channel on the bugs, the Audacity team tagged me from their official YouTube channel in the latest release. Audacity 3.4.1 is a hotfix release, so no new major features were introduced. It mainly takes care of bugs introduced in the earlier release. You can a list of bug fixes in 3.4.1, and we will look into a couple of important fixes. For example, the 24-bit recording, export fix, and new shortcut to join clips. Many people prefer to record in 24-bit. If you can do it correctly, 24-bit recording can give as good quality sound as 32-bit recording and takes less hard disk space. So many people prefer it, and it was broken in Audacity 3.4.0. Let's see if it is fixed in 3.4.1. It is fixed as you see the recording is happening as normally as it should. So now you can choose to record in your preferred bit depth. The next issue was in export. It affected Windows users the most as the file extension was missing. I am using a Mac, and it worked for me previously. You can see the file extension at the end of the file name is set correctly. I suggest you export a file from Audacity and check if it is playing correctly. Then you would be sure that no export bug is present in your Audacity in your operating system. The last feature I want to discuss in this version is the shortcut to join clips. Audacity had a shortcut to create clips. You click on a point, and press Command I to create a clip. If you are using Windows, it will be Control I. Audacity 3.4.0 also creates clips on copy paste. If you are someone doing lots of copy paste, you will end up with tons of clips in a track. If you want to join them, then you have to select some areas of the clips and then right click and join. Audacity created a shortcut command I, or control I if you are using Windows to join clips. You can also see the shortcut from the edit menu. Creating a shortcut is not a significant feature, but for Audacity it matters. Because they changed the copy-paste behavior by creating clips on that action. It disturbs the workflow of people who use Audacity for voice editing mainly. People expressed their concerns, and Audacity listened. That is a good thing. However, I still recommend you stay on the older Audacity for the time being. In the next release of Audacity 3.4.2, the copy-paste behavior will be in a setting. So if you do not want to enable clips on copy-paste, you can choose that. In other words, your voice editing workflow will be the same as with older versions of Audacity. So these are all I wanted to share about Audacity 3.4.1. In the next part of the video, I want to show you a quick way to make your voice better. It is an amazing Audacity tool I developed with my years of audio editing experience. You will also get some professional EQs with this tool. If you are into professional voice editing, this is a handy tool. You can turn your raw recording into professional quality in a single click. The waveform you see on the screen is a raw recording. I will make a duplicate and compare between the original and the improved. I will improve the top track. Select everything inside the track and go to Tools. From Apply Macro, you can choose the type of improvement you want. I have several types of improvement like clear vocal, ESS reduction, intelligent improve, interview improve, podcast improve etc. All these improvements can improve audio quality in a single click. I will show you in a moment where you can get these. I will apply the clear vocal improve on this recording. The audio has become improved instantly. Let's listen to the original and improved audio to understand the difference. I will play the original first and then the improvement. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface. Why you should use Audacity? Audacity is a free audio recording and editing software available on Windows, Mac and Linux. It has the easiest user interface among the audio editing software. Even if you are a beginner, you can start using Audacity with a very small learning curve. You have to learn the basics of audio editing and you are good to go. To clean up audio recordings using Audacity, you have to know some basics about the audio data. Though Audacity is 100% free, it is powerful enough to do professional quality work. Many full-time voice artists and audiobook narrator. So you see what a massive improvement I got just in a click. Installation of these macros is very easy. From the tools menu, go to Macro Manager. You have to import the macros. Click on Import. You will get a zip file from me and unzip that file, and you will get the macros and EQs folder. To import the macros, select the macros folder. If you want to use the professional EQ separately, you will also get those in the EQs folder. Inside the macros folder, you will get some TXT files. 
from the file name, you would know which macro it is. Each txt file is a separate macro. You have to select a macro and open. You have to import the macros one by one as Audacity does not support bulk import of macros. The macros you have imported will be listed on the left side and are ready to use. So where do you get these macros? You can get these macros in this Buy Me A Coffee page. I have developed 11 macros with professional EQs with my years of audio editing experience. I have a detailed installation guide in the description. If you want to use these professional EQ separately, you will find instructions on that. These macros come with after sales service, so if you have any difficulty in using or installing these macros, you can email me. If you are looking for an efficient way to produce high-quality voice, these macros are the solution.